हियर द क्वेश्चन इज संजीव संधि स्टार्टेड बिजनेस ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2015 विथ ए कैपिटल ऑफ रुपीज थ्री लाख देर विल बी नो ओपनिंग स्टॉक दिस इज ए न्यू बिजनेस फॉलोइंग ट्रायल बैलेंस वाज ड्रॉन अप फ्रॉम हिज बुक्स एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर दैट मींस 31 मार्च 2016 एंड यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रिपेयर हिज ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड थर्टी मार्च टू and balance it as at that date after taking the following facts into account there are four adjustments there is no bad debt provision in the credit side of the trial balance as well as in the debit side but in the d part there is further bad debt and new provision okay we'll see that now we have to start with that is in the books of sanjeev sundhi trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2016 by sales rupees 16 lakh less returns inward rupees 40000 we will have in the final column rupees 15 lakh 60000 then by closing stock rupees 2 lakh 60000 and in the debit side we will have to open to opening stock is not there because it is a newly started business to purchases rupees 11 lakh 60000 to wages rupees 80000 to carries inwards rupees 20000 then total the credit side that is coming to be rupees 18 lakh 20000 write down in the debit side and find out the difference that is to gross profit carried down to gross profit carried down rupees 5 lakh 60000 this gross profit carried down will be taken to the profit and loss account credit side that is by gross profit brought down rupees 5 lakh 60000 then we have to start the profit and loss account then other credit items are by accrued interest on investment that is given in the adjustment rupees 7500 that is given in the c part of the adjustment accrued interest on investment amounted to rupees 7500 this is shown in the credit side of the profit and loss account as an income we have not received but it is due to be received and it is a current asset will be shown under the head current assets in the balance sheets asset side then our expenditure to salaries rupees 1 lakh add outstanding salaries that is b part of the adjustment it is added to salaries and will be shown as a current liability in the liability side of the balance sheet in the final column it will be rupees 1 lakh 35000 next one being to depreciation on plant and fixtures rupees 8000 then to further bad debt there is no bad debt in the trial balance always usually there is a bad debt in the debit side and a provision of the last year in the credit side hence this further bad debt is rupees 5000 and to this it is given only in the adjustment and a provision of for doubtful debts is to be created at 5% on the balance of debtors what is balance of debtors whatever debtors amount is there out of that 5000 went further bad debt this was not considered on these debtors hence after deducting 5000 from the debtors given in the trial balance that is in the debit side that is rupees 2 lakh 50000 you have to deduct 5000 rupees and whatever is there its 5% is new provision that is rupees 12250 hence there is bad debt treatment only in the adjustment this is part d of the adjustment and this is 12250 will be added to further bad debt and will be shown in the final column as rupees 17250 rupees next one is your printing and stationery rupees 8000 advertisement rupees 12000 trade charges not trading charges or trading charges or trade charges is a profit and loss account item or a, an official expenditure then to rent and taxes rupees 14000 then 
the next one is to discount rupees 5000 in the debit column in the debit side then totaling in the profit and loss account that will be rupees 5,67,500 and out of that all expenses will be deducted to find out to net profit carried down which is rupees 3,62,250 rupees and this is the profit which is to be transferred to capital account and uh, we have to now prepare balance sheet as at 31st March 2016. Uh, we have to start from the asset side that is current assets cash in hand rupees 30,000 cash at bank rupees 160,000 accrued interest being an adjustment it is an income and shown in the profit and loss accounts credit side and now in the current assets that is accrued interest rupees 7,500 then bills receivable rupees 50,000 in the final column then sundry debtors rupees 2,50,000 then we have to deduct further bad debt further bad debt additional bad debt or bad debt retail of that is rupees 5,000 and after deducting this we will have 2,45,000 rupees and we have to deduct 5% of this 2,45,000 rupees that is rupees 12,250 and in the final column the debtors are rupees 2,32,750 rupees now the next one is closing stock rupees 2,60,000 being an adjustment written for the second time then fixed assets that is investments rupees 1,50,000 then plant and fixtures rupees 80,000 less depreciation that is 10 percent that is rupees 8,000 and in the final column we will have rupees 72,000 and the totaling is is nine lakh sixty two thousand two hundred fifty. Then come down to the liability side. We have the current liabilities that is sundry creditors rupees one lakh twenty thousand, bills payable rupees ninety thousand, outstanding salaries being the adjustment written for the second time, that is outstanding salaries in the current liabilities that is rupees thirty five thousand rupees. Then long term liabilities and capital. Capital rupees 4 lakh, less drawings rupees 45,000. In the debit side of the trial balance, it is given. Add net profit rupees 3 lakh 62,250 rupees. And in the final column, that is rupees 7 lakh 17,250 rupees. And the totaling is rupees 9 lakh 62,250 rupees. And this is the final answer